Hi, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's Web Fishing Report. Well, the April issue of the Fisherman Magazine is due out this week, and our annual spring fishing kickoff issue is sure to get you pumped for the open water season. We tackle such favorite spring fishing topics as winter flounder tricks, a look at the top spring trout baits and lures, bucktailing for fluke, where to find the first run of fresh striped bass in each of the three regions we cover, and much, much more. The ongoing Bait Fish Spotlight series from Mike Laptu also continues this month, and then we take a look at the foursome of silver sides, grass shrimp, mummy chugs, and green crabs. As always, this awesome print feature also includes a special subscriber-only video companion piece available at thefisherman.com. Lastly, I would like to pass along a word of an event that I am deeply involved in that is set to take place this Tuesday night, March 24th, in Madison, Connecticut. Back on February 25th, we lost good friend and fisherman Anton Tony Stetsko. In case you didn't know, Tony is the co-holder of the Massachusetts State Record Striped Bass, a 73-pound fish that had landed off of Nosset Beach back in 1981. With the passing of Tony, he left behind his young son, Anton III, and we we're hosting a fundraising event in Madison, Connecticut to raise money for a college fund for Anton. Among others, we've got special speakers Mike Laptu, as well as Crazy Alberto Nee, who will be giving presentations on the night. Complete details of the event can be found on the events calendar of thefisherman.com. This event is open to the public, and I hope to see you all there. Moving on to the fishing reports, we're going to start off in Connecticut, where the big news is the slow to get going holdover striped bass action in the lower tidal rivers across the state. Even though there was one last sign of winter last week when three to four inches of snow fell across the region, anglers have been finding more and more active striped bass on the warmer days and nights. Blackfish and winter flounder season also opens on April 1st, so anglers are just starting to get geared up for that, and the tackle shops are getting ready to have bait in stock for you. Over in Rhode Island, it was another week of the cod boats being forced to stay back at the dock as the weather simply would not allow for any of them to head out to the Block Island grounds and surrounding waters. Most of the shops we spoke to this week were busy preparing for opening day of trout season on the 11th, as well as stocking the shelves with all the new gear for the upcoming open water fishing season. Then up in Massachusetts, ice fishing still is the big word on the mainland, as well as out on the Cape. While open water is starting to pop up on some of the larger lakes in the Cape, some of the smaller spots still have upwards of 9 inches of solid ice on them. Same thing over on the mainland, lots of solid ice, but be careful as you're going out there as it is starting to melt and we're starting to see open water here and there. We've also got buzz of some spring stripers as well as winter flounder talk hot on the lips of eager anglers coming into the shop starting to stock up for the season. While we still don't have any reports of either species being landed in Massachusetts just yet, it won't be long before we're back in the swing of things. So there you have it, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.